to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Taurus, so what I was getting off camera was that you, you're tired, you're fed up. Well, how somebody's treating you? Someone mistreatment also. Someone doesn't see your worth. So Someone doesn't see how much you love or you like them or how much you put into the relationship. Someone is also discounting you, discrediting you. Or, or not giving you, you know, your flowers, your just do. They don't look at you how you look at them. This person could just be putting you to the back burner. You're tired of it. Some of you like the friction. You like the back and forth, the tit for tat, the going back and forth. You, I don't know, it feeds something within you. Maybe steal that lower vibration, I don't know. Um, that's what I was getting for you. Let's see what the cards have to say for you. All right. Let's see what the situation is. We're going to get some external energy from you. And then we get some advice and we'll get future energy. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. All right. The uh, temperance card, the lovers and the empress. Okay. Very nice. All right, so it, it looks like you feel as if. You want a solid relationship with somebody, maybe a Sagittarius, okay? You want a solid relationship with someone, okay? You feel like this is a soulmate, twin flame, higher level connection. You want to be open and giving love to them, but there has been friction. Um, it's like you, you're trying to take the middle ground, even though you feel like this is the one for you. This is your person. You meant for a reason. You're choosing them. You, you wish and hope that they would choose you. You feel like somebody has just made the relationship about sex or that's just the basis of the relationship. It hasn't really grown from just that. Someone could be keeping you as a third party. They have something else or someone else. A mother could be getting involved in a relationship, inserting themselves within the connection. There could be somebody here who put them found somebody else and this third party is inserting themselves in between the relationship you had with your person. The mother of, you know, the mother, baby mom, whatever, uh, mother of your person could be just inserting themselves or the, you know, someone, mother, mother type energy. It's like you're trying to mitigate this relationship, but at the same time you got interference or you got another party. Or someone's trying to keep you as the third party. Someone's trying to be in two different relationships. So it's like you're trying to find balance with this person, but this person is, um, they're trying to find balance with two different people, you and somebody else. Yeah, it looks like this could all come crashing down or you've already realized that this is what it is, that um, you've been dealing with this certain uh, person's circumstance, situation for a very long time. 
you've been trying to sweep something under the rug. The universe is bringing it back up so that you can deal with it. It's getting some new knowledge about something that maybe you thought was hidden from you or was taken care of or somebody was done with, done with the ex or done with. But now you're getting some knowledge that maybe they just aren't. They're not done. Let's see what is external to you, uh, Taurus. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You don't have to be Sagittarius, uh, Libra, Taurus like yourself. Let's see, a oh, Scorpio. You could be dealing with somebody here who it was always like a breakup or they put you through things. There was always some shake up or some um, some groundbreaking, you know, knowledge that you would get that would break you two up or it was always something that happened. Let's see. What's external to Taurus? Okay. Um, so it looks like Eight of Pentacles, the Sun card, the Tower again, and the Justice card. External to you is work, happiness, newness, marriage. I don't know if all of a sudden somebody gets married or they propose to someone or they find someone new or you find out that somebody has a new sexual partner or somebody that they're dating that they want to take serious. External to you is this person is um, they may look at you as a sexual encounter. It's a cycle. They come in and cycle out. Balance, fairness, cause and effect, karma. Somebody gets their karma for treating you like a tool, treating you like something to do. Something comes out. You know, um, something is revealed. They can't hide this anymore. Let's see what this is. It's like something comes out, something gets revealed. I don't know if they were trying to keep you as a secret and a dirty little secret. And then it comes out and they're getting karma. They're getting exactly what they deserve. What is this about? Yeah, a secret. The family room talks about a secret. Family room, something comes out. Yeah, they thought it would never come out in the distant horizons. Yep. Wow, about this wealthy man and this man with money. If you are this man, yeah. Somebody tells all the details of you visiting them, coming in and out. Whoa, yeah, of a sexual encounter. It could even be same sex. Um, it could be opposite sex. There could be a friend involved. I don't know. This man uses the friend as a decoy or a cover up to the woman or to the wife or to the person that he has obligation to. But it looks like something comes out. Yeah, something comes out here. What's the advice for Taurus? What's the advice for Taurus? Some fast change comes out and somebody's got to make some, take some quick action. Let's see. What's the advice? Advice for Taurus. Uh, the Eight of Wands in reverse. Stop giving to this. Stop having sex with this person. Um, stop talking to. Come out of infatuation. Nothing is moving forward. What you say is not penetrating this person. They don't care. They could care less. Uh, you, you declaring your love, your intentions, they could care less. Yeah, the will of fortune. Let something new transpire in your life with the will of fortune. Change your mind. Okay, yeah, two of wands. Go in a new direction. Um, don't stay with this person or don't stay in that same old direction. Let something new develop for you. The grass is greener on the other side. Okay. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Stop giving. This person isn't giving to you either. Okay. And the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, think about longevity. Think about long term. Think about life goals. Think about um, long term achievement. Don't stay in something because you're loyal to whatever you built with this person or you know them or you've known them for 10 years or more or whatnot. You need to. Um, Some of you are just dedicated to 
the empire, the legacy that you're building. Some of you need to stop. If this is you, you need to stop. Okay, I heard it hoeing around. You need to make a decision in regards to one that's not going to lead you to temptation, to devil energy, to karmic situations, to having karma. This is the advice. You need to change. Change your mind. You need to stop. Yeah, definitely. Eight of Wands hoeing around, being obsessed, addicted to. Some of you need to let someone go who's um, has an addictive quality to them or you're addicted to them. What is the future energy? What's the future energy for Taurus? Somebody's not going to leave their family. What's the future energy? Wedding rings. Okay. That's a union. I, 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 damn. As I said, that says somebody's not going to leave their family. As I'm looking at the Ten of Pentacles and then the wedding rings comes out. Eternal love. Everlasting promise. Yeah. Somebody's not leaving their family. What's the uh, ever, yeah, girl with a snake? You're being charmed. A narcissist. You know, you need to put up boundaries. Okay. Um, the near future for Taurus. Yeah, your cards are flipping up. Yeah, act. You need to put in a stop to this. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. You need to abandon this. Put an end to this. What's the um, future energy for Taurus? Okay, yeah. I knew it was coming out. Addiction, something about codependent, obsession. Some of you just obsessed with having this person. You don't even care about all of the red flags. You don't care about what, how you're not happy. It's almost like you're looking at them as a possession. You just want them. Okay. You just want to have them. You want to have it. You want to possess it, but they're offering you nothing. This isn't a, you, have, you might even have an addictive quality about yourself. The snake. Yeah. Competition enemy. You just don't want the other person to have this person. There is another woman or somebody was keeping you as the other woman hammer, but there is sabotage, you know, somebody, yeah, you just keep working on this or somebody just keeps coming back around. Someone treated you like a tool, like a hammer, right? They just kept coming back around, rebuilding with you, then leaving, and then they'll come back around, rebuild with you and then leave. They go back to the other person. Someone is playing games with you or you're playing games with someone. If you're the married party in this, you need to stop because you're about to get found out. Okay. It doesn't look like your person is going to leave, though, because they are committed to the legacy, the long term, the longevity, the empire that you guys are building together. There could be a wealthy man here who's using a friend to get women, get other women um, wedding rings here. Somebody's not leaving their family dynamic, though. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Where do you fall in this? I hope nowhere. Right. Um. I also want to shout out to some of the cities that I have high viewership in. That's New York, um, Atlanta, Philadelphia, uh, Houston, London, Dallas, Chicago, and LA. Okay. And if you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website, book your reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9 30 PM. And if you feel like you took something from the reading, you can definitely give back. I love coffee. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. And if you are a business minded individual and you want to connect with other business minded individuals, you can, um, sign up for the monthly, uh, conference call, the KTMG, keep the momentum going monthly a conference call with business minded individuals where we go over such valuable uh, business information that you can uh, implement in your business. Or if you want to start your business, this is a good place to be. Okay. Um, also you can go ahead and schedule your discovery call. If you are a business owner or you would like to become a business owner, it is not for personal matters. You will be turned away. Don't waste your time. It's for business. Okay. So take advantage. Uh, many blessings to you. Take care, Taurus.